Okay, in this video we're going to have a look at how you can set up a 2.4 gigahertz network on a Virgin Media router. And the reason you might want to do this is to connect things like smart devices because they run on 2.4 gigahertz networks as opposed to 5 gigahertz. So when you're looking for them and you've only got the, the, the sort of default for Virgin Media is the 5 gigahertz network then that's probably all you'll be able to see and you won't be able to connect those types of devices. So we're just going to look at how we can get that set up. So the prerequisite is that, you know, you've got your router set up, it's plugged into your Virgin Media uh, network and everything. You've got a working router that has internet. And then what we're going to do is we're going to jump into um, a browser, just any browser, as long as you're connected to the Wi-Fi. And then we're going to type in 192... 16801 so it's 192.168.0.1 and then that will take you to your virgin media router and then you can set it up essentially in whatever language you're in so um, i'm just using mine in english so we just leave the english box checked hit next and then that'll take us here and basically at this step there is a password on the bottom of your router so you're going to have to dig it out from wherever it is look at the label underneath you can just take a picture and get back to your computer and then use the password on the bottom of it and then that will log you in for the first time so it's not your wi-fi password it's specifically a hub password um, and i'll show you actually just on this link up here it shows you where you can find it on your router so it's the sticker on the bottom of it but like i say just make sure it's the actual hub password not the uh, the password for it. And then here you can set yourself up a new password basically. So it's got the current password, which you just tapped in. We stick in a new password and then it will tell you up here, this is what your new password is. And this isn't, you know, an active router or anything like that. So don't be coming outside my house trying to look for free Wi-Fi. It's not a, <laughs> it's not an active thing. Um, so once you've connected that, you can go uh, go to next and we're on the hub four. you could see that there um, this will work for the other hubs the, these menus will look slightly different um, hub five things like that it, it's pretty much the same but you know it will look slightly different so you can see your connected devices to the network there's a few different little menus that we can jump into and do things so um, if you go into advanced settings and wireless we can go to the wireless signal menu and under here, you can see that we do have uh, 2.4 gigahertz enabled and we've got 5 gigahertz enabled, which, like I say, is, tends to be like the default. But the issue that you will kind of have is that they run as one network and they're not sort of differentiated in any way. So you're not going to be able to, you know, connect to just the 2.4 gigahertz. And that's your issue for your smart devices. You need to be able to connect directly to this 2.4 gigahertz network. Um, one thing as well, you don't always have to do this for all devices, but I tend to turn off the channel optimization. So you can see up here, we've just got one network. I'll switch off the um, optimization. Like I say, you may not have to do that. It doesn't matter for all devices, but for me, that's just my preference. So I do that. And then you can see on here, it's applying the settings for it. You give it a minute and it will just um, it will refresh itself. And then you can see up here now, I've got the options here to actually change it. So um, this is slightly different for all hubs. You don't always have to disable channel optimization, but for this uh, particular one I am. And then you can see now I've got the option to um, change these, these bits on here, but we've still only got one network. They're both enabled, but you can see I can only connect to that, that one network, 168 is the only one I've got as an option and we need to be able to split those two out. So in the next step, that's how we're going to do that. So what we'll do is we'll just jump over into the security menu, which is the one beneath wireless signal that we were just in. So we just come to there look, in security. And then once this page is loaded, sometimes it can be a bit slow on the on the router, depending on how you connect into it. You've got these options here. So you've got the, the name of the 2.4G signal and the name of the 5G. And all I do is just append on the end, like hyphen 2.4G. You can call it whatever you like. You can call it, you know, smart home, uh, you know, network, whatever you want to do. Um, I'd like to say, I just append onto what's already there, 2.4G hit save 
And then now what you'll find is once this is applied the settings, you just give it a second. Sometimes, uh, like I say, sometimes this can be a little bit slow depending on how you're kind of connecting to your to your router, and sometimes it gets a little bit stuck and you have to just kind of uh, refresh it. But it, sometimes it can take a while to do this because it, it reboots the router to be able to do that because it's creating new networks. And what you should find is once the router is rebooted, and now we can access it again. You can see we've got um, devices attached to it and stuff, so it's refreshed itself devices are attached and now we should see under there we're still connected to the main network um if you want you can append 5g to that so you you kind of know the difference but like i say i've appended 2.4g and you can see there now it's its own network that i can connect to and i've said it so it just uses the same password as before so like no issue there we just connect to it using the same password and for any kind of smart device now you'll be able to select that and you'll be able to connect directly to that network itself. So you won't have that issue where it's like only a 5G network and you won't be able to uh, to kind of see your own, uh, your own Wi-Fi settings. And we can see if I just use the password from the original one, I can hit um, hit join. And then up in the corner, that's just going to jump me onto that network now. And you can see it's an active Wi-Fi network where I can still kind of work on there and I can switch between the two. And like I say, that's just kind of how I do it. Like I say, the um, smart optimization, like I say, that's a setting that's up to you. Um, I don't really like it switching between networks, so I just kind of switch that off. But um, the main thing is that you rename that uh, one of the networks or both of the networks and then you've got them split out nicely. So hopefully you found that video helpful. If you did, please give the video a like. If you want to see more tech tip videos, please subscribe to the channel. And there's an, actually another video on the channel that you might find helpful if you're kind of a family that has like the Virgin Media Hubs. Um, I've done one about using the kind of web safe and the parental controls on the hub. So it's a, a similar kind of thing where you can kind of log into your account and you'll be able to restrict kind of certain access to uh, to different websites and just be able to kind of like monitor what's going on on the network so um, if that's something you want to check out I'll put that up at the end of this video and you can kind of take a look at that one as well.